Welcome back to 9446 Network for another diecast review. And today we have Ross Chastain's 2021 McDonald's throwback to Mr. Excitement. And my god, is this thing awesome! Woohoo, baby! Look at this awesome throwback to McDonald's. This is a retro one, of course, a very retro, as you can see, all red, but that number 42 font, man. Woo-wee, is this a contender. This is a hot Ganassi diecast, and this one, I I'm really proud of that this car was made uh, for the 164s, because I, I really like this throwback. I've seen this car on NASCAR 21 Ignition on someone's thumbnail for their video. Woo-hoo, son, this thing. This is screams, this screams retro NASCAR, just like the 43 car, man, but this is so awesome, the classic red stock car with the yellow numbers, with the McDonald's sponsorship, and that sharp looking uh, McDonald's racing team, which we'll get to in a second. Number 42, Chip Ganassi Racing, unfortunately Ganassi is no longer with us in terms of NASCAR, but they have Trackhouse, uh, the successors to that team, so we got McDonald's, that McDonald's logo has been the same for years. So 42 Ganassi McDonald's, Ross Chastain's name up there. He must have been very proud to drive this car that day, Ross Chastain. Uh, Sunoco, next to the dive planes. We got Goodyear, NASCAR Race, the NASCAR International, NASCAR Salutes. And let's get a look at those other logos right there. Uh, we have Ultra S something right there. Siemens, Lincoln Welders, and Sherman Williams. Wow, some of these cars have the same sponsors, the same contingencies. Uh, I was about to say Matt Kenseth. Wow. Ross Chastain with the handwritten um, signature. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, McDonald's, Clover. I can't really read all these other sponsors. I'm going to try to. Uh, nope, can't quite do it. Uh, Cessna, I can see on there. Clover, Cessna. Oh, Moose. That's what that is. And then another sponsor. Got McDonald's and the McDonald's. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of this car, other than the number font. The McDonald's Racing Team logo. Looks really, look, really looks really damn cool. Uh, Clover right there with the throwback wheels, of course, on all the throwbacks. A uh, little red chip on the spoiler right there, whatever. Uh, M McDonald's 42 ZL11 LE Camaro, no deck. Wow, some of these cars don't have any sponsors in the deck. That's crazy. Uh, and then of course McDonald's on the roof with the number 42. And we're going to get to the paint scheme, which there really isn't one because it's all red. But we are going to look at what's there. So I get the number 42 with the black outline to it and the yellow number fill. This is honestly my favorite looking 42 of all time. Of all the 42 die casts and all the NASCARs I've gotten and all the uh, 42 cars I've seen. This has to be my favorite looking 42. It looks really sharp. I really like this. It's retro. It's classic. And it just looks awesome. I like this 42. This is... I wouldn't mind if they made this. If Ganassi... Had Ganassi stayed, I would love for them to run this as the actual 42 number. Because this looks sharp and awesome, man. Retro. This thing really... This is such an awesome looking red car. And other than that, guess what? Uh, other than the black spoiler and the black splitter... Diecast review is over because there's barely a paint scheme to it because that's how this car ran. It was ba it was it was a very plain uh, Ford Thunderbird. I, I I remember it being, except now this is on the Chevy uh, Camaro. So I really like this. I mean, on the Camaro, this paint scheme looks so good. I I mean, I, I'm really a fan of this diecast. Um, as you could tell, even the font for McDonald's kind of looks different than the actual modern one. It actually looks kind of slant slanted, and I know the McDonald's has a decal fold and it's kind of wavy but you know what it's on the car and you can see mcdonald's right there yeah mcdonald's other than like their letter fonts and like and the slant to it you can see the paint's literally chipping onto my fingers uh but other than like that this paint this sponsor mcdonald's really hasn't changed their brand very much i mean very very little i mean because it, it, it's just iconic you really can't you're really hard pressed to change this stuff because it just it just People remember it, and that's it's this iconic brand, McDonald's. I mean, everyone's gonna remember the Golden Arches, and this car just does it for me. This is what a McDonald's car really should look like, man. I mean, it is pretty cool to try new things with the paint scheme sometimes, but McDonald's. I mean, if you don't want to touch it, if you just want to put a red, red car out there and just throw McDonald's logos out. That's how it's. That's McDonald's. That's their style. So here's the 360 view of it. Man, this is such an awesome retro car, man. I really like this one. 
I know it's a quick die cast review, but like I said, it's, it's 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 a basic paint scheme, but it works. And it worked so many years ago, and it still works today, and it really looks good on that Gen 6 Camaro. Uh, so that is going to be the review of the Darlington Throwback Ross Chastain McDonald's car for Chip Ganassi Racing, the number 42 team, with an awesome retro McDonald's car. I mean, I really like this one. So that's why I picked it up. And it's going to be for the Darlington uh, uh, Pac-Man race at Darlington, as well for the Flash Racing Cup. And this was in the Southern 500, so... Definitely get this car while you can because this one is definitely going to be a hot seller. Who knows? It might be an authentics and it might not be. I really don't know wh where this car is going to be. So if you're if you're not really sure where to, what's going to happen to it, get it in the Gold Series like I did. So that's going to be the Ross Chastain uh, Darlington throwback review. And for the quality, very good. Okay, they wrap the nose perfect. And the back. Okay, so some of the... Uh, so that's sort of weird with the quality. Some cars, they get good looking noses and then some of them look like crap this one came out good so really proud of it very cool man definitely a fan of this one so thank you guys for watching this video comment like and subscribe to see more die cash reviews here on the 9446 network and always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your die cast and my god I, I can literally talk about this die cast all day. I mean, look how that Clover logo looks. I mean, look, all the logos on it. I mean, my God, look how awesome. I can go on this diecast all day, man. Holy cow.